Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about all the Chernobyl and Wormwood symbolism. Uh, it's been kind of in the news lately. And of course, I'm going to be talking again about Super Bowl 56. Uh, we have Super Bowl 56, 13,077 days after uh, the Chernobyl disaster. And the 1377 is from Revelation 811, which talks about the falling Wormwood star. And Wormwood and Chernobyl are synonymous with each other. Talked about that before, but I'll show you real quick the connection here with Wormwood and Chernobyl. And of course, Chernobyl is lo located in Ukraine, and we've had the Ukrainian Russian uh, threat of war uh, going on here. Uh, but this is all about Chernobyl here. Uh, the city's name is the same is the same as one of the Ukrainian names, Artemisia vulgaris mugwort or common wormwood. And wormwood is a anti-parasite. The plant is an anti-parasite, and I'll get more into that hopefully. Well, later I've talked about that before the anti-parasite part, but. Wormwood is an anti-parasite, and it's synonymous uh, with Chernobyl. And like I just showed you here, if we look at the ordinal gematria of Revelation 8.11, the falling Wormwood star, it sums to 1377. And the Chernobyl disaster, 426.1986. To the Super Bowl, 13,077 days, and we have the Super Bowl at, uh, it's in Inglewood, California, and we have the Cincinnati Bengals, and if we look at the Chinese Wuxing, um, in Chinese philosophy, the and astrology here, uh, wood governs the Chinese zodiac signs tiger and rabbit, and we just entered the year of the tiger, and we have the bangles uh, in the Super Bowl. We have Inglewood, the location of SoFi Stadium, 13,077 days after Chernobyl slash Wormwood, and I'm going to be making a connection to Jupiter also. Jupiter is known as the, in Chinese astrology, is known as the wood star. And it's the striped planet, like a tiger has stripes. And of course, Jupiter uh, is synonymous with Zeus, symbolized by the lightning and the eagle. And let's go back and take a look here. Back in December, I did this video about the Ravens and the Bengals, possibly one of these teams going to the Super Bowl. And the symbolism with the Raven is the symbol, symbol of freedom. And then in this video I had talked about the 1377 as well. And that was on December 22nd. Then after those two teams played, Baltimore went to 8-7. and seven. They lost the Bengals. And that was representative of Genesis 8-7. And he sent forth a raven which went forth to and fro until the waters were dried up from off the earth. I talked about the symbolism with that. And then in that game as well, as I talked about uh, the 1377 with previously, uh, the raven's time of possession was 13 uh, 1, 000, it was 1,377 seconds, so a 1,377, 22 minutes, 57 seconds is 1,377 seconds. So the 1,377 showed up, and then the Ravens went to 8 and 7, and the Bengals won that game. And then the Bengals ended up in the Super Bowl. So just a little recap there of the symbolism with Chernobyl, the Chernobyl disaster. And then I'm going to show you guys a few references here that we've had in the news lately. Of course, Ukraine has been in the news with Russia. Well, let's go back here and look at 
Um, I mentioned this before, but there was a, this is uh, talking about one of the survivors, uh, the, a witness, Alexander Yvchenko, recounts that he once stepped out, that once he stepped out and looked upwards toward the reactor hall, he saw a very beautiful laser-like beam of blue light caused by ionized air glow that appeared to be flooding up to infinity, and he's referencing the reactor explosion during the Chernobyl disaster. The blue beam, of course, I think when you think in conspiracy theory that Project Blue Beam is a fake alien invasion, and lately I've been associating this alien theme not with actual aliens from outer space, but more has to do with um, citizenship status, alien, what countries and what what different citizenship statuses are alien or foreign to each other. I'm going to get more into that lately. I've touched, touched on it before, but the blue beam uh, is in first level conspiracy theory, I would say, is associated with a fake alien invasion. And this is referencing Chernobyl a.k.a. Wormwood. And, of course, Joe Rogan's been in the news quite a bit lately for his um, controversial um, episode uh, about the, about the uh, jab. Uh, but this episode here is from 2019, November 2019, and it's episode 1377, just like the gematria value of Revelation 8.11, uh, but his guest on episode 1377, Rick Baker is retired special makeup effects creator and actor, mostly known for his creature effects and designs. So we have like his guest on this um, episode was about like making people up like aliens or masks or monsters, but just a very interesting connection here to 1377 a wormwood and the and the blue beam he's a makeups special effects creator kind of would uh, kind of in the same um theme as you know a fake alien invasion and then joe rogan of course uh, another wormwood reference or worm reference is he supposedly got covid and he used the horse dewormer, what they call ivermectin. If you look at the gematria of ivermectin, ordinal 118, and English extended 811, right? And wormwood is anti-parasite. It's antiviral and anti-parasite. And he used ivermectin, the horse dewormer, right? And they made, <laughs> made a big deal that he was just making up his own, you know, not using approved methods for uh, um, curing the corona or COVID. But another Joe Rogan um, big connection to uh, the wormwood or the horse worm dewormer. In addition to his thir episode 1377, so Joe, Joe Rogan seems to know the ritual symbolism or the symbolism behind Ch wormwood or Chernobyl. And the 811. And then, of course, with Ukraine lately, um, they have the Ukrainian troops in all these news articles saying that Ukrainian troops are training at the site of Chernobyl in Pripyat, Ukraine. And then also, we had this oh, about a week or two ago here um, a story from, I believe this is Texas. Uh, Samsung f facility uh, says the leak they leaked 763,000 gallons of wastewater into the river, into a tributary, and that is a direct reference to wormwood as well, um, because wormwood makes makes the waters bitter. It contaminates the water, and we had this story out of Austin, Texas. You know, the Lone Star State, Austin, the Wormwood Star. So just another reference to Wormwood lately. So 
this wormwood theme is really ramping up and in regards to the Super Bowl I was looking at the symbolism not only with wormwood but but between the two teams the tiger and the ram because wood uh, is the is associated with the tiger the wood the wood in the Chinese astrology is associated with the tiger and then the ram in Greek mythology uh, is associated with the golden fleece and there's a whole story um, I would recommend going and reading the story of the golden ram and the golden fleece the golden ram uh, was sent to rescue a brother and a sister and then the ram was sacrificed and then the golden fleece was um, became an artifact of one of the kingdoms or one of the kings but um, interesting that we have the golden ram and and this golden ram uh, was sacrificed and then it was honored as the constellation Aries and it's interesting because Aries sits between Pisces and the bull and I'll go more into that later but the Pisces and the bull seem to be um, their symbolism seems to be at odds with each other uh, to this like I said I'll go over that later but um, golden ram associated with Aries and the golden fleece and here's a couple of texts I've been texting Bobby back and forth about this theory I have about a Super Bowl tie which would be highly unlikely but there's a theme um, where these two competitors could possibly uh, end equal to each other like a tie is uh, I'm not necessarily saying the Super Bowl score will be a tie you know it could be time of possession uh, passing yards from the quarterback but there's definitely a theme about these two teams uh, ending in a tie something is going to be two things are going to be equal uh, that's the symbolism I'm seeing for the Super Bowl and being that the I was trying to use the symbolism from the ram or the symbolism from the tiger to figure out which one would you know dominate the other and they're both um, I guess you could say the symbolism of the ram and the symbolism of the tiger are both Kind of positive symbolism, I guess. The t in Chinese uh, uh, mythology, the tiger represents the greatest earthly power, as well as protection over human life. Uh, chases away uh, disasters, fire, thieves, and ghosts. But just looking at the two, the two animals in the Super Bowl, trying to figure out what what would be the victorious animal or what symbolism, um, it just kind of makes sense going along with my theme of. Uh, they're possibly possibly being a tie or some sort of two things being equal in the Super Bowl but one thing I wanted to show you here is uh, the words tide and death have pretty much the same uh, gematria and I got these plugged in here death and tide I just have all the ciphers up here just so you can see them all but 38 uh, there's a 218 that's a significant number and then death in satanic is 213 just like the date of the Super Bowl is 213 and just going across here you can see all the and all these ciphers death and tide are pretty pretty close to each other and then So I'm in the green here in this text conversation, but uh, is a tie possible in the Super Bowl? And I wrote here, not in a playoff game or Super Bowl, so there would have to be some uh, extenuating circumstances. I was looking at a, looking at date connections to NFL games ending in a tie, and they're kind of interesting. Uh, the Super Bowl is a span of 16 months, 18 days after a Bengals-Eagles tie. And of course the Eagle is... Um, synonymous with Jupiter or a symbol of Jupiter is the Eagle and that game the ties the score was 23 to 23 and that's an interesting score um, it has to do with um, birth and DNA uh, you get 23 chromosomes from your father and mother for a total of 46 and the st. Louis Rams had their first tie game uh, with the 49ers of course the 49ers uh, that also has a gold theme 
just like the 16 months, 18 days here. With the last Bengals tie, but the St. Louis Rams had their first tie game uh, with the 49ers after the NFL modified the overtime rules. And their last tie game um, is when Stafford played for the Lions, and that, that date had 56 date numerology. So let's take a look here. Oh, I have Chernobyl here. Chernobyl in, or uh, Bobby sent me this, Chernobyl in Fibonacci, which is associated with the golden ratio. Chernobyl equals 585. Uh, that's an earthquake number, 585 BC. It's an earthquake. I guess you could say it's an eclipse number two. Uh, Thals of Miletus began the study of earthquakes in 585 BC, and he's also the first person to predict eclipses. So it's an interesting connection to Chernobyl as well. But here is the list of the tied games here. The last Cincinnati Bengals, the last tie they had was September 27th, 2020 against the Eagles. And if we look here, counting the end date, you have a total of 16 months, 18 days. 1.618, of course, is the golden ratio. And then the last tie for the Lions, which Matt Stafford previously paid for, was 11-14-2021. It's interesting, without the end date here, it's a straight... Uh, 13 weeks or 91 days and 91 is the 13th triangular number 13 is kind of a significant number uh, some of these other dates had a connection to i'm not going to go through all of them but um another detroit lions tie here with the arizona cardinals september 8 2019 remember matt stafford the quarterback of the rams used to play for the detroit lions more bangles, uh, another bangles tie here. Seems like the bangles have been in a lot of ties. And then there was a tie with the St. Louis Rams and the 49ers, right? The gold, the golden ram, the golden fleece. So this, there's a, a ton of connections here to the golden ratio, the gold theme, and then um, the numbers are connecting with. Uh, this theme of a tie in the Super Bowl. And like I said, there would have to be some extenuating circumstances. Of course, very unlikely, but you know, the symbolism could extend out to some other things becoming equal to each other. Just a um just interesting that I got kind of started on this path here with this tie theme. And then what else do I have here? Another interesting thing I'm going to talk about later, uh, of course, uh, Revelation 8.11 is what my channel is all about. I showed you guys that uh, the Eiffel Tower is the iota, the alpha, and the omega stacked on top of each other, which in Greek, isopsophy, sums to 8.11. We have this um, Eiffel Tower in Paris, Tennessee. And I just want to show you quick, I'm going to be talking about the date of 8.11. 2022 um, but if we look at the incorporation of Paris Tennessee where this Eiffel Tower is located it was incorporated on September 30th 1823 and if we go to 811 2022 you can see it's 10,376 weeks and two days so this is during the 10,377th week. 811 falls in the 10,377th week, just like a 1377. And that just happens to be the gematria value of Revelation 811 is 1377. And I'm going to be exploring this this week and this this time that time frame quite a bit. If we go to 8.11.2022, I'm going to back this off here. Mars, which has the maximum synodic period of 8.11, will enter the constellation Taurus on 8.9.2022. 
and it's going to stay there for almost exactly 33 weeks. Mars will enter Taurus and then go retrograde in Taurus and stay there, then come back out of retrograde, but it will stay almost exactly 33 weeks in Taurus, starting on 8-9-2022. And of course, Mars is a detriment uh, in astrology. Mars is the detriment to the constellation Taurus. But just something interesting I'm going to be going, going through again, uh, 811. I'm going to be talking about the Bob Saget um, ritual that connects to 811 as well. And the golden ratio on Venus. I already went through some of that, but... Just want to show you guys all the wormwood rituals that are wrapping up, especially with the Super Bowl. All the wood connections to the Tiger Year. Super Bowls in Inglewood, 13,077 days after Chernobyl, aka Wormwood. Okay, guys, I think that's all I have for now. Um, Maybe I'll leave a link to some of these uh, websites here. You can go through the mythology of the Golden Ram and the Golden Fleece and the Tiger mythology. But I think we're definitely going to see an interesting and very symbolic um, Super Bowl this year. There's a lot more to go through with the symbolism with Jupiter, but I will. Uh, I'll just leave it at, leave it at this for now. Okay, guys, uh, thanks for watching.